the comment saying that I may be homophobic. I should have reacted to this when it happened. Because I would have known that something was about to happen. <clears throat> First of all, if something happened in the past, that's where it kind of should have stayed. Kind of should have stayed there. Um, this was really uncomfortable for her. Um, and I honestly feel like she didn't want to do it. But I feel like, you know, sometimes when we're... <clears throat> When you're a socialite, you feel like you have to respond to, to negative shit. And I've, I'm, I'm learning that you don't have to. It's really, really, really relevant. Especially if you already have shit out behind the scenes. <clears throat> so if shit was already settled behind the scenes, that's kind of where it should have stayed. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. So... I'm going to react to, <clears throat> shit. I'm gonna react to Natalie's sister's video from the I, How I Really Feel About Easy and Natalie Dating. Cause apparently something was said which triggered Easy to tweet. Hey, y'all want me to go back. I don't mind going back. <clears throat> um, I just wanna see what happened. Cause clearly we just got started and then we had to finish. You get what I'm saying? We just got started. We just got in a relationship easy, Natalie. We just got in it. Now we gotta get out of it. Y'all brought us in this, okay? That is why I'm here, all right? <clears throat> so let's see what's going on. I don't know what's going on with my throat, but it ain't the wrong, all right? <clears throat> Shit. <clears throat> That's annoying. Okay, let's get it. JVK! What's up, what's good? How y'all feeling, how y'all doing? What's going on, JV gang? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. As you guys can see from the title, we got a spicy one for y'all today. I'm gonna let Jacina take over, though. Today, guys, I'm going to be sharing my raw and unfiltered feelings about Natalie and Easy Dating. I am also going to be sharing one of my most vulnerable sides with you guys by sharing something that I honestly never pictured myself sharing on such a public level. So yeah, that's scary. Let's get to it. Okay. <clears throat> that video clip. Christina, hi Brian, hi Levi. Oh my gosh, I never thought this day would come that y'all would ever text me. Y'all just made my okay. and I love y'all. We said love you too. Ah. She nervous. All right, y'all. First of all, I got my handy dandy notebook right here. Okay. Don't you make fun of me. I have so many pinpoints and stuff and things that I want to say. I just, I got to stay on track, all right? So I will be looking at my notes. You know, y'all told me to react to this a long time ago. And clearly, y'all know what my situation was. But I feel, I feel like I should have reacted to it <clears throat> a long time ago. But since I got started, I'm just keep going. Oh, fuck. If I had some big news like this, I would have been the same. So here we go, guys. First of all, I want to say that there are so many reasons as to why we're doing this video, guys. But some of the main reasons that I want to bring up are so many of you guys have commented asking us to do a reaction video to Natalie and Easy Dating. So many of you guys have DM'd me asking me how I feel personally, like really and truly about them dating. Honestly, so many of you guys have also jumped to your own conclusions as to how I might feel. For example, my family and I have read a lot of the comments on Natalie and Easy's video where they showed the reactions of their families. So many of you guys have commented about how you felt like my smile was fake or how I might not truly support them. Or some of you guys even went as far as to say that I might be homophobic. Dang, I felt like I'm about to hear something I never heard. Damn. I'm <laughs> excited. I'm sweating already, y'all. I'm sweating. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. I want to homophobic address though? the comments saying I that. I don't care her brother. I was like, okay, he not he not feeling this shit at all, but okay. I am not being supportive. So my response to that comment is, obviously you guys couldn't possibly know this, but growing up, I idolized my sister and I idolized my brother also. I'm the youngest out of the family, so I really looked at them for guidance and to really just show me how I should be as a person, you know? That's really how I always viewed them all my life. And to this day, I still idolize my sister. She is somebody okay. that inspires me so much. Support. And that being 
being said, of course I support my sister. I will okay. support my sister in anything that she does because I love her unconditionally. Sound like support. And that is my truth. That being said, I would like to also say that you guys did experience some uncomfortability coming from me in that video. Let me just run the clip really quickly of my reaction in their video so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. As long as my sister's happy and she's being treated right, that's what matters. <laughs> so as you guys may see, <laughs> yo, yo, Inspector Gadget head ass. She's <laughs> like, <clears throat> that's the thing about Cameron. You can see everything like like hold on he was just smiling but the fuck what was that you know what i'm saying obviously there are some feelings of uncomfortability there and so i'm going to address that right now yeah clear it up babe clear it up for jp gang spill that tea y'all thirsty y'all ready for some tea all right basically guys there has been so much happening for years behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. There has been drama, there has been heartache, there has been so much uncomfortability that has happened between all of us that we have all been working on dealing with on a very personal level for these past few years. Now, you guys obviously couldn't possibly have known that. And that's why I want you guys to understand that what we put out there is only a small portion of the full that was not none of our business that was not none of our business what y'all had had going on behind the scenes don't nobody care <laughs> especially if we didn't see it you know what i'm saying nah she could have kept that one to herself story and of the big picture there's so much going on behind the scenes that you guys don't know about yeah guys you got to remember that we're all human and we have a family just like you guys do and our family goes through hardship and struggles just like all of yours and a lot of the things that families go through are personal and aren't shared to the public and i just wanted to let you guys know that we're all the same in that way now even though yes the reality was that so much drama has happened these past couple of years i want to make sure that you guys know that we are good okay we are good I want you guys to know that we included. are working on our family. We are working on our relationships and we are strong, okay? There's no ill feelings being held towards each other. There's no beef being held on to, you know, between me and any of my members of the family. But there is a lot of history that you guys don't know about, which has helped create uncomfortability at times for everybody in the situation. So that being said, guys, I really would appreciate it if you could try to open your minds up to see it from my perspective. I was presented with an opportunity to support my sister. And so for me, the best way to support my sister would be to do the video. And that's why I did the video to show my support and to show them that I do support them and that I do want to have a healthy relationship with them. So next, I really would like to address the comment saying that I may be homophobic. I should have reacted to this when it happened because I would have known that something was about to happen. <clears throat> First of all, if something happened in the past, that's where it kind of should have stayed. Kind of should have stayed there. Um, this was really uncomfortable for her. Um, and I honestly feel like she didn't want to do it. But I feel like, you know, sometimes when we're, <clears throat> when you're a socialite, you feel like you have to respond to, to negative shit. And I've... I'm, I'm learning that you don't have to. It's really, really, really relevant. Especially if you already have shit out behind the scenes. <clears throat> so if shit was already settled behind the scenes, that's kind of where it should have stayed. You know what I'm saying? But with her uncomfortability, um, now she kind of got to... I don't even want to say fake it. I'm not going to act like she doesn't support it. But she's uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable and her brother is definitely uncomfortable. Okay? Damn, I got to watch his video too. And also for the people writing me saying thank you for supporting Natalie and easy sexuality and comments like that. Okay. He is supportive <laughs> ass dude though. Love his mom. <laughs> Alright. So guys, this is gonna be really hard for me because I never I never 
never talked about my emotions in this way, and especially so publicly, um, so bear with me. Okay. Guys, the truth is... <laughs> you done, what happened? Spit it out! Oh, that's she's truth bisexual. truth is, guys, <laughs> you could not be further from the truth. I am not homophobic, guys. And I am not in a struggle with supporting my sister in experiencing a love connection with another woman. Hello. And the reason for that is because I myself am a bisexual woman. I myself am a bisexual woman. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, you guys might be like, all right, girl, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, hell, I know now, so I, I'm not that surprised. <laughs> like, there's a lot of bisexual women. Why is it so hard for you to say? I could never even say that phrase out loud until I met Brian, actually. When I met Brian, I was able to share emotions with him. I'm gonna cry already and that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. I was hilarious. able to share emotions with him that I never shared with anybody else. And Brian allowed me to see <laughs> the love that I needed to have for myself because of these emotions and to be able to stand in my truth and not feel three two nope don't want to hear that and I'm gonna explain this to you guys but first that's just me explaining why it's hard for me to say that statement out loud I was not able to say that until five years ago and I'm sure a lot of bisexual, gay, lesbian, trans, queer, I'm sure a lot of you all feel the same way and that it's really hard to come out. Like, I've, I've heard that story many times, so. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And to you little studies, you little studies. Uh, <clears throat> y'all make sure y'all live in y'all truth. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it's not appropriate to say right now, because you may be young, you know, your parents may not agree with it, and you still living up under your parents' roof, I advise you to just go with the flow. It's a way to live in your truth and not expose yourself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to do a tutorial on how to do that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but you don't want to live your life. Because um, it's a lot of people who came out to their parents and their parents just kind of flipped on them. <clears throat> and that happens. You know. So if you got to hold it off for a little while. You can. I might do a video on that. <clears throat> you guys can relate. No, already, what so. the fuck? So basically, my experience with being bisexual was this. Growing up, I knew that I had certain attractions towards other women. And um, I just didn't know what that meant. And I also came from a family where all my immediate family members were straight. Now, that's totally different from being homophobic, guys. They're not homophobic in any way, but being that they themselves didn't feel attracted to the same sex. Like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, I idolize my family members. I'm the youngest member of my family, and honestly, my family members are amazing. I had so much to live up to. I can't do the rest. <clears throat> I just want to say, um, it was probably a little not needed um, to include the drama part. And I feel like that's where, um, and these are all just assumptions, you know what I'm saying? This is not what I know. I'm not trying to create a narrative, none of that shit. I'm just going off of what they have put out there and from what we see. <clears throat> so whatever tweet was put out, um, Easy was feeling some type of way from her sister's comment, I believe, of bringing up, uh, I guess, old things from the past because Easy said something like that. You know, some things that happened in the past that <clears throat> Um, uh, she basically, I'm assuming, just didn't want to talk about. That's that's just really how I feel. Um, and it just wasn't it wasn't needed. So, 
that's where we are. <laughs> um, I'm ready for them to drop their second video because I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And she's saying that <clears throat> Natalie got something else to say that she wouldn't have been able to handle. I don't know what the hell is going on, y'all. I don't know. <clears throat> but we're going to find out. We damn sure going to find out. Okay? So that's it, y'all. That's all I have for right now. <laughs> Um, if y'all want me to react to any other videos, let me know. A couple of them I've seen y'all want me to react to. Also, I want y'all to go over to Royal Reacts, which is my other channel. <clears throat> Long as the videos are green, okay? I'm going to be doing videos over there. Last time I attempted to do, do videos, they were yellow. So, um, hopefully they're green and we're going to be good and we're going to be able to handle that bit. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do that. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. The link is in the bio. We're on to the next video. Peace.